Hello world, my name is Paul with the Backyard of Bocce. Today I'm going to show you guys a super easy teriyaki recipe. Alright, today we're going to need a few ingredients. We need onions, a pear, ginger, garlic cloves, we need sugar, water, and soy sauce. All right, let's go ahead and begin prepping this. Uh, we'll need some ginger, and we'll peel the ginger skin off. Like so. And next we'll peel the onion. Just cut the base off and leave the top. And we'll just cut a plus sign. Next we'll do the pear. You don't need to peel the pear, you do need to wash it. So we'll just take the, the top on the bottom and we'll cut it into quarters. Like so. And the reason I'm using pear is uh, for the aroma. You can al also use pineapple, apple, or oranges. And now for our garlic cloves, we need five garlic cloves. And we'll just smash them down like so. Uh, we'll go ahead and add the sugar in first. For the sugar, we'll need one and a half cups. And the soy sauce, we'll need one cup. And the water will need a half cup. We'll go ahead and turn on the grill and let the sugars melt into the soy sauce. And you'll just want to stir occasionally. You don't need to boil the soy sauce in the water. You're just looking for it to be hot enough to melt the sugar. And once the sugar is melted, we'll go ahead and add the pears, the ginger, the onion, and the garlic as well. Right, I think that's good. We'll go ahead and add those ingredients now. And we'll go ahead and add the five cloves of garlic, the onion, ginger, and the pears. And we'll go ahead and let that cook down, let the aromas and the flavors release, and we'll come back and check on it. So it's been about 20 minutes now that I've let this kind of simmer. Uh, all the flavors should be extracted out of the pears, the garlic, the ginger, and the onion. Should be pretty gingery, sweet, and the texture should be still a little bit watery, but kind of sticky as well. If you want to thicken this up, you're going to need to use cornstarch and water, and then go ahead and add it in while it's warm, and then thicken up the sauce. I prefer not to thicken up the sauce, because I like to caramelize the teriyaki sauce on the grill. So once it's complete, we're going to let it cool down, and we're going to pour it into our 16 ounce bottle. And there you have it guys, super easy teriyaki sauce, same recipe that we use at the restaurants, hope you guys enjoy.